Well, hello guys. It's been a while. Um, I just haven't been doing any videos lately. But today we're going to do something different. Today we are going to work on the sweeping willow here. And as you can see, it's growing like crazy. We're not going to do any root pruning to this. Obviously, because the roots are already, or the leaves are already out. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna do some uh, branch pruning here, and we're gonna cut it back a little bit because it's already going crazy and it's taking over the bench. So I want to take care of some of these branches, get it in you know correct some of these things that are going wrong so that it is going the way I want it to so it's not wasting any energy and I've just been wanting to work with this thing for a while now this had this was a cutting I took two years ago and I cut it put it in this pot I have never repotted this tree and um, I have repotted the others I did at that time, but for experimental purposes, I'm just going to keep this one in the pot for the next couple years. I fertilized this thing uh, a couple weeks ago, and it's just growing like crazy. Um, during like early part of February, I chop this top part off because it was dying back really bad and so I chopped it right here but this part just kept growing up top here so we're gonna have to pick um, do something with the apex here so the sun's really bright out today I had to change the way I do things so um, and I have a really good setup for you guys to see, but we'll kind of see what we can do. And I'll try to get the angles that I'm cutting at in the picture for you, and I'll talk talk it through as I go. And hopefully, I can show you what I'm trying to accomplish here. Now, see, this is this was a cutting off of a tree. And it's rooted like crazy. Um, let's get our tools out. Now since it's pretty new. Um, what we're going to want to work on. Is. Upward structure. So last year. No branches were on this. This was just a like a stick in the pot right last year this one grew this one grew this one grew this one started to this one grew now this one right here was not here at all this one grew this year this is how fast will those grow this whole branch grew this year filled in in a perfect spot that this needed branches now like I've said before I like all my trees to look good you know I'm gonna work to have it good at all angles so there's not necessarily a front or a back to the tree but as you can tell there pretty much is a front and a back to this tree right now which this is kind of like the front and this would be the back. So, are you guys seeing this all right? I hope this is coming out. Anyway, so let's get started here. Now, let's get started here on this side because it's less congested, I would say. So, here. Okay, so we'll start on this branch. I know I want to keep this branch, so 
there's less guesswork on that part. Now we want to follow the rule of two and since we're working on our upward structure we want everything to go up. We want we want it to go up. We want the upward structure before we worry about the weeping part. So the weeping will come later down the line in a few years. So right now we want the upward structure so that it's strong. Now looking at this, it's got pretty good placement of branches. So it comes in, it comes right out at you. This one's fine, I don't really mind. I'm going to try to leave as much as I can so that this tree keeps growing really vigorous. But as you can see right here, this one grows in towards the in towards the tree. So I don't like that. So let's see, do we have to cut it completely? No, well, yeah, let's just do that. So we'll cut it clear down here. Cut that one off. Now, this one has grown out like that. So this one's kind of grown from the inside right here. You see that? But instead of how this one was grown in like that, this one's grown up. So let's keep that one. Because that one will help with the upward structure. Now, this one is coming straight out at us. I don't really like that. But this, this one is coming outward. So we'll cut it at an outward facing bud. So, this one is coming out and it will come out this way. So we can fan it out that way. Now, this one is interfering with this branch back here. But what we can do is, let's see, I hope you can see this. Um, it's kind of hard to see. But we can, let's see, cut it back right here. So then it could possibly grow out this way. Like I said, I want to keep as much as I can to keep this growing nice and vigorous I don't I'll, I won't worry about taking too much off right now now we are getting up to here see is it coming from the same point now these ones here they kind of look like they're coming from the same point but they're not they're all pretty close See that one died right there, so that's good. They're all they're all doing pretty well. But see this one's coming out this way. That's kind of starting to weigh it down. So I'm actually gonna take this off completely. So see what I did there? That right there, cut that off completely down to there. Let's take these branch cutters or go flush cut clear down to the branch these knee sharpened I don't like it when they don't do nice clean cuts like they're supposed to okay cool now that these are that two and that's going straight out and up now this one's going directly back that's just annoying. So let's find that outward facing bud. See, directional pruning can save you a lot of the time. So let's pick an outward facing bud and trim to there. So hopefully that one will go out this way and we can keep it going. All right. I hope you guys are able to see what I'm doing. Here, I'm going to raise you up a little bit. 
see if this helps you out a little bit, guys. Okay. Alright, maybe that will help give you a better or more clear view of what I'm doing here. Okay, so this back branch here, I'm actually really liking what it's doing. It's just straight out, not interfering with anything right there. And these other branches have a year ahead of it um, growing anyways. So I'm going to let this branch just continue to do its thing so that it catches up with the girth of those. And as of right now, so see we have this one coming out straight at us just cut that back to a outer facing bud about right there and that should start growing up this way so instead of going straight out at somebody it'll come out and it'll start growing out this way okay now There's a little guy coming up down here. I don't know what I want to do with him yet, so I'm going to leave him there. Now, here's a back branch here. Can you guys see this back branch here? This back branch here comes up. Now, the guy goes straight up. For now, I'm going to leave that guy. Because that guy might turn into something useful. Then it comes into one. Then another. Then another. Then there's one that goes down. Right there. So we'll cut that guy off. Like I said, we're not ready for weeping yet. Then it all comes here. Then it branches off into two. Which is fine. Then let's look here. It looks like there's an old, old branch there. Where it... Break that off. Okay. Well, that divides into two. But see, this one is starting to come over and interfere with this new branch. So, instead of that happening, let's... Cut to an outward facing branch and let that go up. Let's see, everything else is looking good there. Now, let's see. Whoa, watch it, camera. <laughs> okay, so now. So see now we kind of got it under control so far on this side. This is a beautiful tree. I love it. Uh, and as you know, a lot of people don't like to use willows for bonsai because they tend to, you know, don't get attached to these branches because they tend to die back. And they may die back on this branch for no particular reason. So don't get attached to this branch. Use this as a tool of discipline to teach you to let go of things that are impermanent. Like this tree in particular because it may not want that branch anymore. And it might die off. So... That's why I'm working with some of these willows to teach myself that concept. And, you know, every year, it's almost like the tree becomes brand new in some aspect. If, you know, you can look at it that way. Alright, you know how we're talking about we're doing upward branches, right? You know, to create the, um, the upward structure. 
This branch right here is ugly as sin. Cut that sucker off. I'm sorry, I just couldn't handle that. Saw that immediately, and that just stuck out like a sore thumb, and I had to get rid of it. Now, to me also, this one has to go. This one needs to go. That one needs to go. See all those little ones right there? That just needed to go because that looked too much of a cluster. Um, you know what? Let's try to keep this channel clean, right? There might be kids that end up seeing this and, you know, I don't need to use any profanity, right? That's not classy anyway. Okay, so now we start seeing, like, see my finger here? So now we're on this branch right here. See, so we've got two, two of these branches are doing the same thing. So if we look at what we've been doing with these branches, we've got about that much space. So let's just take that one all the way off. Let's let it start that right here. This, we don't need this one because, I mean, come on, dude. So let's open that up. Kind of pretend like they're little birds that could fly in through here. You gotta remember, these are supposed to be like miniature trees, right? So imagine little birds flying through. So, so does that mean, what about that branch then? This branch kind of looks a little off then, doesn't it? It kind of does, huh? So, I think I'll just take that off. Okay. Yeah, that looks a lot better. If I follow my own, my own way of thinking okay because sometimes less is more right so if you look at that does that look a lot better kind of got rid of all that unnecessary stuff and like with willows you think you cut off a little too much maybe don't worry about it because you water these guys and they put out so much foliage they're a pretty forgiving tree especially if you're really new I suggest willows for new people I just do willows because well I've been doing willows for a while and I really enjoy their everything about them okay now I noticed look at this you see these crisscrossing, not only crisscrossing, but two branches coming from the same spot. Get rid of them at the same time. Because neither one of them were going in the direction we wanted them. Now you're like, oh my gosh, it's so bare right here. Well, you know what? It's better to fix the problem than to keep a problem that looks like an eyesore. And tell you what, these trees will put, they'll put buds out here. And if they don't do it this year, they'll do it next year. But um, they tend to fill in the spots that they feel they need foliage. So I'm not worried about it. Okay? Hey, <laughs> they'll do just, they'll do just fine. Okay, let's get that little dude out of the way. Now, no little ones sticking straight down. The yellow leaves don't need to be there. Takes away from the beauty of the tree, really. All right. Now, yeah, this one needs to go because it's pretty cluttery. Made up a word. I like to do that. I'll do that from time to time. I know I won't use proper vocabulary all the time. Alright, now this is where I needed to really work on this thing because look, and now I'll turn the tree around. This part back here 
where these two branches kind of start meeting up and they're like going bam into each other. So, let me look at this for a minute to see what I really want to do here. You know, I told you we wanted to do more upward stuff. So, let's see what, let's do this back one first. First, let's take this off because this is going directly into the other branch, like the bickering children. That one's going up. That will be all right. Now, this one is going directly down. Don't need that. Now, hmm. Same with this one, right? This is going straight down. How about we cut it back to here, see if we can get this one to grow up. Now, we could, we could use this one to fill in some stuff in the back here. These guys filling in some space here. We got an old dead branch there. Now, this one here is just coming in to collide with that one. I don't want that. So, and so is this one. Colliding in with that one. So, we kind of clean that up right there. So they're not going to. Now, what do we do about this guy? So, let's take this to an upward bud right there so see what I did I cut it right here to an upward facing bud so it will no longer go this way and it should go up this way right so these guys are no longer really competing with each other for anything anymore and they can continue to grow now this one Right here, it's kind of going down. Like, if you see what I mean, it's this one's kind of going down. So, what if we chop it right there? Make it start growing up. Yeah, howdy. Well, we just have to really worry about this apex here. The apex of this tree. See, it goes up like this, and this kind of just goes up like that. Hmm. What do we want to do to this? So let's, let's cut this back right there. So that will grow up. And that's kind of nice. This can become a new leader. It goes straight up. This is going from the same spot, so we can cut that back. And we have a new top bone. And I think for now, that's about it for that. Except for here, this one. Let's chop this one back to here, and it will grow up. All right, well, this is Mr. Leslie here. He's been at Leslie Bonte Gardens. Sorry it's been so long. I'll be putting out some more videos. We'll do a lot more trimming on some trees. And hope you enjoyed the small video that I made for you guys today. And oh, here's another one that could go. Anyways, enjoy, stay safe, um, don't go out unless you really need to, you know, but stay in touch with your family on your um, social media, keep your distance from people, it's still dangerous out there folks, don't take, don't take things for granted, we don't need to be getting sick, let's take care of each other. Love you guys. Have a good one.